Have you ever wondered how far someone would go to save their own life? And what if that salvation came with a terrible price? Something that shakes the very foundations of existence. Today, we are going to delve into a story that explores this boundary between the desire to live and the sacrifices that make us human. We're going to talk about Mimahagi, the fallen deity who governs stillness and despair. Mimahagi is not just any entity. He is the right hand of the soul king himself, a figure who, despite his disturbing appearance, carries with him immense power. Since ancient times, he has been both revered and feared in the depths of Eastern Rukongai. His presence is as old as the very souls that inhabit this spiritual realm. But what makes Mimahagi so unique is his ability to stagnate time, to stop the inevitable. He represents stillness, the interruption of all that develops and grows. Mimahagi's story intersects with the life of Jushiro Yukatake, a boy who, at the age of three, was stricken with a terminal lung disease. Abandoned by doctors, his parents, in desperation, took him to Mimahagi's shrine. There, in an act of blind faith, they prayed for this divine entity to remove the boy's lungs, saving his life. And that is exactly what happened. Mimahagi, in his physical form, removed Yukatake's lungs, halting the disease's progression, and thus, the boy survived. But what seems like a miracle also brings its shadows. Yukatake grew up to become one of the most respected captains of the Godii 13, but the mark of Mimahagi never left him. He was constantly tormented by his frail health, coughing up blood and suffering from episodes of extreme weakness. The presence of Mimahagi kept him alive, but at the cost of a full life. It was as if time had stopped for him, but the stagnation kept him trapped in a life of pain and sacrifice. What drives someone to make such a deep pact? How far would you go to save your life, even if it meant sacrificing everything you know and love? This is the essence of Kamakaki, the final ritual Yukatake would perform years later. During the Thousand Year Blood War, when the Soul King was killed, Yukatake made the ultimate sacrifice. He offered the rest of his body and life so that Mimahagi could become the new right hand of the Soul King, an act that was supposed to stabilize the chaos that had settled in the Soul Society. But this sacrifice came with immense pain and suffering. Mimahagi's shadow emerged from Yukatake's body, stretching to the sky in a desperate attempt to fill the void left by the Soul King. Although it temporarily stabilized the Soul Society, this power did not go unnoticed by Yawach, the leader of the Wandenrake, who was determined to destroy everything in his path. Mimahagi is more than just a simple deity of Rukongai. He is a manifestation of the desire for survival, the struggle against the inevitable. But he is also a reminder that everything has a price, and sometimes that price is higher than we are willing to pay. What does Mimahagi teach us about the nature of sacrifice? And more importantly, how far would you be willing to go to save your life, even if it meant sacrificing your own humanity?